Hi folks, this is SJ from Honest Used Car Reviews. Today we're taking a look into this 1995 GMC Suburban. This car could be briefly resumed as the modern Probo Cydia. GMC Suburban, not Chevrolet? Yeah, well, GMC did make a Suburban until it was renamed the Yukon in 2000 for, I guess, some marketing plot, while Chevrolet kept the Suburban name until this day. And the Suburban, no matter its brand, does have a well-picked name. It was chosen back in 1933, making it the longest-running nameplate for an automobile ever. And it's clever, because you will rarely see these in large cities due to its obnoxious length of 18 feet and weighting the scale at about 3500 kilograms. About the same size as a typical African elephant. This SUV is often used for perilous expeditions. It has to cross rivers like the Hebro and Rhone and face hazardous conditions, so the rear leaves have been supplemented by a double stack. This beast is actually looking quite good. This kind of purple looking color fits it very well. It also looks quite square. But that's the charm of it, and in all sensible reasoning, it looks like a 90s GM SUV, and that is not always a good thing. The interior is at least very redeeming. It feels like a mobile lounge. You sit very well in the heated leather power captain seats. It has room to a dreadful extent. But it had to be a joy to cross the halves in it. Since Hannibal was mustering his men into the crossing of the Alps with some African elephants, imagine now if he had some GMC Suburbans. The world would have been a very different place, I am sure of it. That is, of course, considering it would have access to an unlimited fuel source, because I don't think there was a gas station at every corner in antiquity, and that SUV requires a lot of fuel. According to Fuley, two users are averaging about 7.3 km per liter. If that doesn't mean anything to you, it's quite high. But at least the engine, a 350 cod name L something something, is the beating heart. It produces 310 pound feet of torque and about 200 horsepower. But it's reliable. The owner did not add much problem with it, and I am sure he uses quite well judging by the scars on it. The Suburban is a quite humble truck, and I do feel saddened to know that these comforting visual landmarks are just like the mammoth before them, something that will soon be extinct. They will disappear from our landscapes ceding their place to more recent and bigger creatures, and they will be remembered as a time period identification on photos. The 90s GM SUV were exactly that, 90s GM SUV. And this is the significant link to pull the Anibal's Hawks Crossing and this Suburban. They're both inspiring, bold, and courageous incarnation of a resentment. So much that I went to the point of renaming one of them the Yukon. Soon, just like riding elephants, we will be wondering how it must have felt driving it back then. And thus, we can say this 1995 GMC Suburban is the modern Probocidia.